Hang on. That'll help. <laughs> okay. <Hi>. Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> We're here at Habitat for Humanity today. Yes. It's in the film us a great show. We want to thank everybody for watching. What are we going to do today? We're gonna work, Randy. You're it's, gonna put me to work. It's already hot out here. I know, you're sweating. I've got my hat on, I'm ready. Where's yours? I got my hat. Should okay, I go and put it put on? Put it on, on that hard head of yours. Well, yeah. there's a lot of work going on over there. I know. But, so, so I'm I think a I'm gonna get you to do a little hammering. All right. What do you think? I'm not put good up at a it, wall. but I'll try. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, or you can just bring a fan around and wave it on me. I'll bring you a sweat towel. Sweat towel, How about uh, that? a drink, a water. Sweat towel's all you're okay. getting. Well, let's go do some work. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Hello, this is Randy Lanham. And I'm Teresa Rowe, and we are your host for Project Volunteer. Have you ever wondered what nonprofit organizations do or about all their different volunteering opportunities? Or what about hearing testimonies from the recipients of their care? Join us on our journey as we walk in the shoes of a volunteer for a day and find out about some amazing organizations that are literally changing the world. And along the way, meet some true surprising heroes making a difference in the lives of others as we feature another Project Volunteer. Jeremy, I got to tell, tell you something, buddy. It's hot out here, <laughs> but it does not stop Habitat for Humanity from building homes for people that need them. Tell us about Habitat for Humanity. Well, it doesn't ever stop us because the need is always there. Uh, but the best way to describe Habitat for Humanity, whether here in Owensboro, Davis County, or anywhere in the world, we are an international organization, is that it is a revolving door of people giving and volunteering. It starts with the folks that are here building houses, giving their time, uh, whether coming from a job to do it or retired or however that works for, for each individual, uh, to the people who apply for these homes and go through our program and are on site hammering nails in houses that aren't theirs, to, the, to our current homeowners who come back and give. Like I said, it, it's just a complete revolution of people blessing forward so that they can be blessed and then they can bless forward from there. That's awesome. I mean, we're called to serve others anyway, so it's good to give back. And, and, and when you, you're in a time of need, like some of these people are needing a home, it's great to be able to bless them and, and again, for them to return the favor and go out and work on other houses, right? Amen. That's Amen. awesome. So tell us about this particular build. It is a, what is it, a zero net energy home. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's gonna be the first in Kentucky. Uh, there were, the, the title sponsor here, Atmos, came to us, it was their idea. They, they had partnered with a Habitat in Colorado and in Texas where they built these. And the idea with the zero net energy is that whatever the house takes from the grid, it replaces in uh, renewable energies like solar, so, solar energy. And so it nets a zero emissions of carbon out into the environment. That's pretty cool. The yeah. first one in Kentucky right here. Absolutely. Behind us being built. That's right. All right, man. Do you have any words of encouragement? Maybe somebody's out there interested in volunteering for Habitat. What would you tell them? I would tell anybody, uh, whether it be Habitat or anyone else, go out and volunteer. You, you will get more out than you give every single time. That's the way it works, ain't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Appreciate your time, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, ladies, we are out here at the home site of Habitat for Humanity. So what brought you each out here today? Um, well, my family's very involved with Habitat, and I feel like it's important for people who are fortunate enough to help people who aren't as fortunate. Absolutely. Okay, so what about, what's your name? Caitlin. Caitlin, what about you? Why are you here? Um, Emma asked me yesterday if I would like to work this event and give back to the community, and I couldn't pass up that opportunity. Have you ever hammered a nail before? I have before? not. <laughs> It'll be fun. Yes. Hey, what is your name? Uh, Kaylee. Kaylee, what about you? Why are you Same here? Same thing as Caitlin. Emma asked me yesterday to come out and help the community, and I love giving back, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity. Awesome. Emma, you've got a great influence over your friends. It seems you've got some really good friends here. Yeah. Now, all three of you ladies play softball, is that correct? Yes, From yes. High school. Okay, so what's one of your workout drills? Like, do you hammer? Do you do anything like this? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think the closest thing to hammering is probably swinging a bat. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. All right, we can, we can do the same thing here. Why do you feel it's important for the youth to volunteer? I think it's important to start out earlier, like, 
understand how important it is because I feel like a lot of kids don't get that at an early age. That's true. And I think learning that at an early age can help you like throughout your life. Absolutely. What about you? I think it's important for people to start early and learning new experiences and helping out the community starting early and getting involved. Uh -huh. That's good. All right. I'm going to piggyback off what they said. I think it creates great morals in kids and it makes them have a really good lifestyle and they're very thankful for what they have and not just grow up like rich, spoiled and not grateful for what's handed to them. Absolutely. So you're giving back. It's such a blessing to be able to do that. I mean, it blesses us and it also blesses a person. So, you know, the word says you reap what you sow, right? Mm -hmm. So we should always sow some good seed. So let's, yeah. I don't, Ladies, you know what you're doing here when you hammer in the, look, what are we supposed to be doing? I think you're supposed to be training me, okay? <laughs> I know it goes in an angle. I'm a volunteer angle. in training. All I was told is it goes in an <laughs> angle. We're supposed to, I think we're just supposed to focus on like the top of the nail. Straight. It's straight, yeah. L let's go for it. Do you, wanna, <laughs> do you right. have a nail? Oh, yeah. Okay, ladies. Yeah. Um, let's go. Them up once they're. Mine aren't even down. down. <laughs> <laughs> My hat keeps falling. Alright, it's okay. Your hat okay, keeps falling, one. that could be a problem. Fashion's important right. when you're working. Go for All it. Alright, keep going. Okay. I don't know. Is oh, this one's better. Is this better to do? too far down. You know what? Maybe we need a little help from our friends. So, but thank you so much for showing me what we're supposed to be doing here and uh, for talking about being a volunteer for Habitat for Humanity. All right? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. David, thank you so much, buddy. You're out here. You are a Habitat volunteer. So I'm a volunteer in training, so tell me what we're doing here today. Well, we're, uh, we're going to make a, a door jack, and okay. we need to cut this at 81 inches, which, which is already marked. Already marked, okay. And this is a piece we're saving, so you want to just be on this side of the line. Okay. You know? So uh, pick this up, you got all your safety equipment on. I do. I've used these before, so I think, let's see. This, I keep this well, on this on side. On this one, it's, it's just like this. Right on the line. Yeah, okay. you can kind of watch uh, right there for your, you know, where you're at. Okay. Are we ready? You bet. Now, do I take my left hand just to support this? That'll be great. Okay, here we go. See how I do. There you go. Missed the whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it was close, though. <laughs> hey, does close count? No, we're going to have to say Only in horseshoes. <laughs> okay, so we'll fix this later, but I want you to tell me why in the world are you out here volunteering? Why do you think it's important to volunteer? I, 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 uh, I'm a retiree from Southern Star, and when I retired, I wanted to give back to, to the community. I worked about 50 years, so I think I owe. Yeah, so, good for you. How would you encourage other people to get out and volunteer in their community? I absolutely would. It's a good feeling to, to give back. It, it's something that we all need to do. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you training me, but uh, I'm gonna have to fix that, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How about I let the pro fix it? <laughs> now, 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 look, I didn't miss by much. Is, is really that much count? Yeah, it does. Okay. Go ahead and fix it. Hey, thanks for helping me, buddy. You I'm going to hold this down for you. There 
There we go. And that's how the pros do it. Well, semi-pro. <laughs> Thanks again, buddy. I appreciate we it. We don't get paid for it. <laughs> hey. You're treasures right. in heaven, buddy. You're treasures right. in You're heaven. Right. We're helping other folks out. That's what we're called to do, right? You bet. All right. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you, Randy. while you're out here volunteering for Habitat? I'm volunteering because there's people in this community and all communities that need some help. I've been fortunate enough, I've had good jobs all my life and been able to support my family. But there's other people that don't have it as well as I do. And I retired uh, in March of this year and I decided to, to maybe help some other people try that, to get some help. That is absolutely awesome. So why is it important for us to volunteer and give back? Well, there's. There's so many people, even in our community, that, that don't have even all the necessities that they need. You know, there's lots of places that take care of homeless people. Mm -hmm. uh, and most of the people that be getting these houses are probably not the homeless people, but you know, they, they've got young families, they're trying to raise them, and uh, it's just nice to be able to give them something to, to have. Absolutely. So tell me what we're doing here because I'm a volunteer in training today, okay? okay? So what are we doing? Okay. We're getting ready to put this wall up. They just just sealed it back here. And this is a little different than what we've, we've been doing. If you look at it, the studs are, are, are staggered. Mm -hmm. This is a thicker wall than we normally do. This is to give it better energy. Uh, uh, better energy rating. There'll be more insulation in the walls. Mm -hmm. uh, this is supposed to be a zero net energy house. The, there's as much energy as comes in the house is supposed to go back onto the, the grid. So hopefully it'll be a be a very good house for the people that move here. Is this the first time you volunteered for Habitat? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. Is it exciting for you? Yes, yes. What do you like about it? I like meeting all the people. You know, there's a lot of people out here. Yeah. Are you going to be out here all day? Or? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So whenever you're ready, okay. I guess I'll help you. You'll okay. just have to tell me what to do, okay? Okay. okay. Come on over. Okay. We have to pick it up and we have to move it all the way down to that wall. That end of that wall is at the end of that wall right down there. And we'll just pick it up and then we'll just walk it down. All right. Ready? Okay, let's start walking down. We want to go to the east. It'll be over these folks. Either up or back. Either one. Come in. Yeah, come in. There we go. Can you tap it this way, son? Yeah. The sledgehammer's back here by the band. Back here, hey, hey, oh, right there. Yeah, the end, but yeah, get on the, get on that corner there. Hopefully it won't break. Yeah, hopefully it won't break. Grain nails. What we'll do is grain nails and two before out here. Pretty well right beside each stud. And we try to we need to be right on this red line here. Are we okay here? Thank you. Push the top 
push the top. That way? No, push it toward us. Here we go. How far apart are we going? Good? needs to go back a little bit, doesn't it? Okay, Charlie, thank you so thank much you. for helping me no, um, no. help you, but I didn't do much, but thank hey. you. Thanks for what you do. No. Thanks to everyone out here for what they did. We thank you all. Absolutely. You ready? Yeah. Is it on the red line on that side? It is. You're good now. Jamie, tell me a little bit about yourself and your background. I am a single mother of four children. Four? What are their ages? Um, my oldest daughter is 22. Wow. And I have 16, 12, and 10. I had to think about that one. You look so young. You look so young. Thank oh, you. my goodness. It's hard being yeah, a single right. mom raising kids. So um, what's been happening in your life? And, and tell me how you became a homeowner of Habitat for Humanity. I have been in the program for one year and seven months, uh -huh. and I've volunteered over probably 300 and maybe 70 hours so oh, far wow. to be able to for this to happen. Now, do you work on another home, and or do you work on yeah, different home homes. and your own home? Okay, yeah, different homes, just anything that they really need. Mm -hmm. Going from like buying supplies, just mowing grass anything that they want. Have you learned anything along the way? I've learned a lot about myself along the way. <laughs> like what? Like that you have to put in the work if you want to make it and do better and for your life. That's right. As yeah. people give us a hand up, we also help others and we pass that along. Yeah. So um, what do your kids think about it? They're excited. My oldest daughter, she's going to get her own place. Oh, she wow. graduated nursing school uh -huh. and she's looking to get her own place. So it'll just be me and my three youngest children. So it's exciting. Absolutely. Yeah. So tell me about people that volunteer alongside of you. Um, what have you found within the people in their hearts? Oh, this is like my family, really. I mean, honestly, I've became like more like friends, like mm -hmm. best friends with everyone that works for, and it's a part of Habitat. 
What about the director? Do you like him okay? Oh, yes, <laughs> Jeremy. <laughs> He's a good guy, isn't he? He really is. So how would you encourage others watching um, to volunteer and how important it is to help other people? It is very important to help other people because without other people, it's not possible for everything to, you know, to happen. What have you enjoyed most about helping to build? Um, just learning the experience because I never really knew how to even hammer a nail. <laughs> well, you and me both, okay? I'm not, yeah. I'm not good at that either. Maybe. But it's okay. It's good that all people have different gifts. Yeah. So when you bring them together, you can all work out together, right? That is true. Yeah. I like your shirt. Boot oh, thank you. You're welcome. Do you work out? Mm, sometimes I need to. <laughs> <laughs> this is a workout in itself. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for talking to You're me. You're welcome. Thank you. Mark, how you doing today, buddy? Doing real well. Good. Thanks for being out here. Hey, thanks for having me, and thank you for the hammer. I look official now. Yeah, and the hard hat. And the hard hat. Yes, that's right, man. Safety I, I'm, first. I'm feeling kind of cool right now. You look it. I mean, I, it's hot, but I'm cool. Does exactly. that make sense? Yeah. No. I'm with you. <laughs> okay, so we are building this house behind us, and we got a lot of good crew here working really hard today. Absolutely. Appreciate it. What a great turnout. Appreciate everyone's help and all the volunteers. Absolutely. So. I am a volunteer in training. That's part of this show, so you have to train me on what to do. And what are we putting together right now? I believe this is called a header. And so we're going to put six nails on this side. We're going to flip it over and put six nails on the other side. All right, so you got yours in already. You got a head start. Now let me see. It's been it's been a few years since I swung a hammer. I'm going to try this. Start so slow. I'll put and my then... thumb here. No, oh, no, no, no. Okay. Brace it. There you go. Doing great. Perfect. Just like riding a bike. It is, except different. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to put six we need in some here. more nails. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to get some more nails. Hey, here Thank we go. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. Now tell me, I, I, go ahead and put that in there. And then what we're going to do, we'll put two in the middle. Sure. There we go. I got just before I put this in here, so well, everybody can hear. I want to know. This I, I want to know your uh, the partnership with Atmos and uh, Habitat for Humanity. Uh, tell us about this. And this is a what? What is it called? Uh, zero Z and E, which stands for Zero Net Energy okay. uh, Home. And what that basically means is that this house will. Uh, uh, produce as much energy as the homeowner consumes. Okay. And so uh, we thought the perfect partner uh, would be Habitat for this because this is ultimately going to go to a very uh, worthy family. Yeah. And uh, we're more excited about helping them uh, than, uh, than for us. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, a deserving family will have a, have a home yeah. and uh, hopefully this will be a, a template not only uh, here in Owensboro, but not only in Kentucky, but across the nation, because this will be the first Z&E home in the whole state of Kentucky. Man, that is so cool. Yeah. And you all are a part of it. That's well, awesome. Well, we're, we're, we're one partner, but there's many partners. Right. So, you but know, you're out Jago here. Homes, you know, Boardwalk, Southern Star, yeah. uh, Quantum Raiders. Well, uh, ain't it good for different people to come together to make something happen? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. and that's what you all yeah. are doing. That's awesome. And of course, I love Habitat for Humanity everything that they stand for and everything that they do so let me get this last one in here and we'll flip it this side good yes sir you did now we got six more on this side all right so i tell you what i just want to thank you again for training me and no we're going to continue and finish this board up but thank you for for your volunteerism and for atmos being a part of this project thank you Pretty appreciate cool. you being out here yeah absolutely so let's find some more nails thank you We'll finish her up. <laughs> oh, uh oh, look at there, Mark. I bent one. Uh oh. Oh, I made it work. Like you said, kind of riding a bike, like it's coming back to me. <laughs> I used to work construction when I was younger. I won't say how many years ago that was. Oh, just a couple, I bet. Just a couple.
Okay, Teresa, yes. you had a great time, Habitat for Humanity. I helped build a little bit of this house. I did too. You just got in the way. I was way. hammering. All you did was get in the way. No. You know what, you put me in these situations, but I love it. I love the people, their stories, everything about it. I know, what a great nonprofit organization. We want to encourage you to get out in your community and volunteer, whether it's Habitat for Humanity or whatever that is. Just go get your hands dirty. Make a difference in your community. You ready to get out of here? I'm ready. Thanks for watching, everybody. Everybody, everybody wait bye. bye. How did you do that? <laughs> I don't think this is right. Uh, you know what? It, it's okay. At least we're trying, correct? I'm bending the nail. I don't think so. I mean, are you supposed to straighten them up once they're... Mine aren't even down. <laughs> My hat keeps falling.